Okay, we are going to get started. I want to welcome everybody to our live leadership training here, uh, December 12th, uh, closing uh, the end of 2015, jumping into 2016 very shortly here. We're very excited that you were able to join us here today. We have many people signing in uh, from around the world, our NHD Global family here, and this is being recorded, so you can always refer back to this training as well as the other trainings that we do on our leadership training. So we're very excited to be with you here today. Exciting times here in NHT Global. And today, folks, I'm gonna be sharing odds and ends of your business. And uh, we're gonna talk about, again, the things that many people uh, feel maybe that they're not maybe important or a big deal, but it is a very big deal. So I'm gonna share some, some nuggets with each and every one of you that can take your business to the next level. And again, there's so much information to be sharing on different aspects of building your business. Today, I'm just gonna touch on 10 simple, but yet important fundamentals in allowing you to build your NHT Global business as big as you want. So the goal of building your business is to build it once, build it right, right? Build it big. And build it to last not just your lifetime, but your children's lifetime. I mean, that's the whole purpose of residual income and accumulating wealth. So you can also pass that down to your kids and grandkids, as many people have done here in NHT Global. So we're very excited about that. Otherwise, guess what? You're wasting your time. So for those of you that are here and listening to this, you're obviously not interested in dabbling in your business or it's a hobby business. And that's okay. We got many people that do that if that's what they want to do. You're on this training because you want golden nuggets. You want some things that will empower and inspire you to go out there and build your business. And that's what we do here with our training webinars. It's to give you tips, ideas, nuggets, tools, inspiration, knowledge, experience, so you can implement the information that you hear and see in order to have you build a solid and successful business. Uh, so again, uh, always a pleasure uh, to be hosting leadership trainings amongst the, the best of the best in the industry of network marketing uh, with our leadership group here. So before I get into the training, I do want to give you an NHT Global update. You know that uh, we just recorded one of the biggest Novembers in the history of NHT Global. And our sales in all the markets, all of our markets around the world, were up significantly. So now we can also add 15 consecutive quarters of double digit growth, okay? We're talking about almost four years, folks, of non-stop growth, okay? So that's a clue, that is a clue. But here's the reality. You know, when you see these types of numbers, What's more important is, are you in your organization growing incongruent with these numbers? That's what is important, and that's what I want to share with you here today, is things that you can do to implement that you can increase your organization so you're incongruent with the growth also that the company is experiencing, which is basically what? The people that are implementing, again, knowledge and uh, things that they need to do to, to succeed in this business. So please take notes, grab a paper, grab a pen, unless you're listening to this while you're in the car, because we have people that are listening to this and not watching the webinar. But if you're going to uh, uh, watch this also later and refer back to this, you know, make sure you have paper and pen. And when you're taking notes, please don't multitask. Okay. If you're serious about learning some things, uh, in building your business, don't multitask. Don't be checking on emails while you're listening to this. Don't be doing this or doing that because guess what? It's just going to go through one ear, out the other. It's going to sound like it's pretty good information, but here's the reality. You're not going to do anything with it, okay? So you're just wasting your time, and we don't want you to waste your time. We want you to utilize your time and building a successful business. So take notes. Uh, again, uh, wipe out all your uh, distractions, and my goal is to finish in about 30 or 35 minutes. Again, I don't know because I can literally spend hours on just one topic alone, but my goal is just to give you 
uh, 10 nuggets, 10 things that I've noticed over the years of, of building a successful business um, on what people can do better or more of uh, that will, again, will elevate their, their business. So number one, let's talk about product user. Are you a product user? Okay, this is so important, you know, and I hear so often that, you know, you don't really have to purchase products in order for you to be successful in this business. It is true that with, at least with NHT Global, you don't really need to place an order on a monthly basis, right? Some qualifications are different for every uh, uh, country that we're in. But, you know, here's the reality, folks. You have to be a product of the product. There is no, if you're looking for a long, you can make sales and you can be a great salesperson. And yes, the products are going to do the work for you because they are incredible products. But if you want to build a long-term residual income, you have to be a product of the product. Okay. So you, do you have a product testimonial on any one of the products? I want you to ask yourself that question and answer it. Do you have a personal testimonial on one of our products, right? Do you have one? Which, if you don't have one, that's a clue. That's a clue that you're not a product of the products. And remember, what you do duplicates. So if you don't consume two, three products, which is the most incredible products in the network marketing wellness arena, all right, our, our growth and our statistics and our track record proves that, our science proves that. You know, if you don't have two or three products that you're taking on, on a monthly basis, what business are you building? What business are you duplicating? Okay, remember, what you do duplicates. So it's also easier to share information on your experience than it is to go on memory. OK, we remember testimonials, we collect testimonials and we use other people's testimonials and you should use people's testimonials because, you know, you may have a product that you don't have a testimonial on, but somebody does use those. But there's nothing more powerful than automatically sharing your testimonial because it's yours. OK, so and you're not going to get your own testimonial if you're not on the products on a consistent basis, okay? You can't just take it every now and then. Most of our products are consumable for a daily basis, okay? Now, we get people that say, well, you know, I don't have the funds to be ordering four or five products on a monthly basis. Now, pay attention to what I'm gonna share with you. Isn't that one of the reasons why you joined NHT Global? So you're never put in a position where you can't afford the things that are important to you. And I hope health is on the top of the list in regards to what's important to you, right? So this is why we're sharing all these trainings, informations, and the support that we have so we can help you build a business so you can't afford the products for you to consume on a daily basis. So it's very important that you are a product of your own products. If somebody was to ask you, hey, so-and-so, what's your favorite product? Which product has given you the most benefit? Um, um, I don't know, but I can share with you what product that my partner loves. So again, it's very important that you're able to share at least one or two products, and you can only share that experience authentically if, again, you're experiencing the products on a consistent basis. So again, very important to be a product of your own products. Now, let's go to the next one. Number two, are you on an auto ship or an auto ship bank? Okay, the auto ship bank is not available for our European market, but they have an auto ship for every two months. Are you on an auto ship or on an auto ship bank? If you don't know, that's a clue. You should know what you're on with your account. You should be one on one of these. An auto ship secures that you never lose volume in your organization. An auto ship bank always 
again, ensures that you'll never lose any points, any volume, any BVs that are accumulated under your organization by allowing the auto ship bank system to do the work for you and ship you out products once you've accumulated the necessary amount of money needed to ship out one of the two packages that you selected, okay? If you're not on an auto ship, you're gonna have to remember to order on a monthly basis before your activation cancels or deactivates, okay? And if you do that, it's actually, you have to double the amount that's required if you're gonna order manually. So just put yourself on the auto ship or are the auto ship bank system. And what's even more important is, are the people in your organization on an auto ship or an auto ship bank system, okay? We have revolutionized the way we do business in network marketing through our auto ship bank system. What does that mean? That means you don't have to order every single month. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pay every single month in order for you to stay active. You're active, once you're on the auto ship bank, you're active for life, okay? So this is very important that number one, you're on the auto ship bank system, again, or on the auto ship. If you know you want products every single month coming to you, then put yourself on the auto ship system and have those products come to you every single month because you're, you're taking them every single day and you wanna consume them consistently, right? So put yourself on one of these programs and help your distributors put themselves on one of these programs as well. It is very important that you do this once and be done with it. You don't have to worry about it, okay? So again, auto ship or auto ship bank system. Make sure you're on one. Make sure your organization, your new distributor, your new partner is on it as well. This is huge, folks. This is so huge. I could do a training on this alone for hours and hours because it goes into the psychology, goes into, again, a lot of different aspects, um, but scheduling appointments, I believe this is one of the most uh, missed concepts that I make it a rule of thumb that I see um, as I, again, talk to our organization, talk to people who are looking to build their business, and when you're scheduling appointments, okay, there's certain things that you have to do that I use as a rule of thumb. OK, now when I'm talking about scheduling appointments, I'm just going to cover one aspect of it. I see way too many people in this industry that are excited. They share their excitement. They talk to people, whether it's on the phone or live in an event or whatever it is. And they forget to do one of the most important aspects that will increase the chances of people reviewing your information. And here's this. Make this a rule of thumb. Please write this down in your notes. Make this a rule of thumb. Anytime you talk to somebody, whether it is regarding the products, whether it's regarding the opportunity, okay, when you talk to them either on the phone or you meet with them one-on-one -on -one or you're, they're at an event, whatever it is, anytime somebody's open to reviewing information, about the opportunity or the products, you never, ever, 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 ever hang up the phone or leave that engagement without scheduling a follow-up appointment within 24 to 48 hours. I cannot stress the importance of this. Here's what winds up happening. We get a lot of people who get excited they get excited. They should be excited. They're excited about somebody who's going to review the information. Oh my gosh, I got somebody who's going to review the information. They're going to review the live webinar. They're going to review my capture page. They're going to go to steamteam.ca. They're going to go to my landing page. They're going to go to my website, whatever it is, right? They're going to review my catalog. They're going to go to my in-home event, whatever it is, okay? You get excited about that. But here's the reality. Anybody who is open and interested in reviewing any piece of information on a product or the opportunity, you make sure you schedule a follow-up appointment within 24 to 48 hours. Understand when somebody says, oh, this sounds great. I'm going to watch this tonight, blah, blah, blah. And you go, okay, great. I can't wait for you to tell me what you think. 
and boom, great, I'm excited, thanks, bye. Here, here's what happens. The chances of that person going to watch is going to be very, very slim, regardless how excited they are, because that's human nature. It's life, okay? They get excited right then and there. They saw the possibilities, but then boom, they go right back into what they need to do. Their job irritation, their stress at work, at home, whatever it is, it's not on their top five things to do on the list. It was for that second that you shared that information with them, okay? So here's how you increase the chances that they're going to review the information that they said that they were excited and open to review, okay? It's like making an appointment with a doctor. If you make an appointment with a doctor, right, you're going to probably increase the chances of going or calling to reschedule. But if you say, yeah, I'll see you next week and you don't make an appointment, what's the chances of you going to that doctor? Probably not very high. It's not on your list because you didn't make an agreement. An appointment is a mutual agreement. I want you to understand that, okay? So here's how you should always reconnect people, all right? So if so-and-so is interested in the opportunity and they're going to watch your landing page or the recorded webinar or the live webinars we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, okay? Here's how it's going to go. You know, hey, Joe, I'm excited that you're going to be watching this webinar this Saturday. You know, I'd love to get your feedback and your interest level after you reviewed the information. I think you're going to really like what you see, what you hear. I'm excited for you. Hey, if I called you tomorrow around 7 p.m., would that give you enough time for you to review the information so that we can get back on the phone and then we can discuss what you saw? Hey, Joe, how about I give you a call tomorrow at noon? Would you be open to that? Hey, Joe, if I call you Saturday at 3 p.m., and again, I'm trying to fit it within what's available for me as well, right? If I call you at Saturday at 3 p.m., would that give you enough time to review information so we can get back out on the phone and then we can discuss what you reviewed, okay? So it is so crucial because now you got an agreement. And when you get an agreement, it increases the chances of them. How many times do we call people and they say, oh, you know what, I just didn't have time to review the information. I just didn't have time. And then you say, okay, when do you think you will? Sometime this week. Okay, great. But there's no appointment. There's no, there's no agreement. So it's not on the top of the list in regards to a priority, no matter how much they're interested. So this is something that can change your business tremendously you be in control of the next connection now here's something that i hear all the time okay and again i'm going to give you some nuggets of how you continue to take control of making an appointment some people will say this hey andreas you know listen i got a, a busy week this week this sounds exciting listen whenever i get a chance to review it and i watch it or whatever it is that i give them i'll give you a call Hey, Joe, great, fantastic. Hey, listen, Joe, if I don't hear from you within two or three days, will you allow me to call you? Do you know what the answer is? Not 90%, not 99%, 100% of the time since I've been doing this for 15 years, it is yes. Hey, Joe, will you allow me to give you a call if I don't hear from you within two or three days? Because remember, my goal is 24, 48 hours. I just bumped it up within two or three days. I just bumped it up another day. See, most people kind of want to get look at it, but right now it's too much for them. It's not their priority, but you know, I don't want to lose out on something that may be great for me, right? So what did I do? I just took back the control. And what I did is I used the word allow. Will you allow me? Okay, what does that mean? I'm giving them the authority and power to allow me to control me, right? And when you do that, the answer is always going to be yes. It's not, hey, Joe, uh, how about I give you a call in two or three days if I don't hear from you? You may say, well, you know, I, I, well, listen, when I look at it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, okay? But if I say, hey, Joe, listen, if I don't hear from you over the next two or three days because I know you're busy, hey, will you allow me to call you? That word allow will allow them to say yes. And when they say yes, guess what? It is now not a specific appointment, but it is a appointment. 
So what do I do when I track it? In three days, I will give them a call. Okay, so I put that in my, my tracking system as far as when I'm going to call that person back. So again, it doesn't matter if you're meeting with them locally. It doesn't, even if you're following up with them, when somebody is still in the decision making process, you never leave or hang up unless the next connection appointment is already made. Well, I need some time to think about it. And I'm going into the follow-up when someone reviewed the information. Again, I'm not going to go into the follow-up process because we got tons of training on that, right? Because you're consulting and guiding people, right? And moving them in the direction in their dreams and how this business can do that. But if someone says, yeah, you know, I'm going to discuss it with my spouse or, you know, give me some time to really think about it. Okay, great. Hey, listen, how much time do you, do you need? You know, can I... Should I call you this Saturday? Hey, how about I give you this week or this weekend and I give you a call 7 p.m. Uh, or around this time next Tuesday night? Would that work for you? It's all about them. Most likely they're going to say yes. Okay. So again, these are don't ever leave somebody who's excited about your information and then thinking about, well, did he watch it? Are they going to see it? Uh, should I call them? Should I not? When you do that, that means you're not in control of your business. You want to be controlling your business. Now, is there going to be people who, again, you know, won't follow this kind of concept from their perspective? Of course they are. But you are, you are responsible for all the actions you take in regards to building your business. Okay, so again, whether you're scheduling a three way call, whether you're going to schedule an independent call from your upline, whether you're scheduled to enroll somebody or someone says they're going to enroll at this time, schedule a time for the next connection and put it in your planner. I can't stress this enough. This piece of information right here can can dress can significantly change the way your outcome of your business. I actually did a group uh, uh, call on this. It was very small cost on this bit and this uh, uh, thing. I did an individual call for one of my uh, team members um, prospect and the person was interested in reviewing the information. This exact thing happened. They said, hey, listen, I'm very busy uh, in real estate uh, this week. You know, when I get a chance to watch this, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll reach you. I'll text you. I said, Great. Hey, listen, if I don't hear from you within the next three or four days, will you allow me to give you a call and just reconnect with you? And he said, yes. OK, so I winded up giving him a call and he picked up. So, again, it's going to increase the chances of people reviewing the information. And again, you did all the work to prospect. You did all the work to communicate with people. You did all the work to promote what it is that you're doing to building your organization, to building their dreams, building your dreams. Why would you not want to solidify it? OK. So I hope you wrote down some nuggets on this. And, you know, again, 24 to 48 hours, if they want to get back to you, when they want to get back to you, great. Will you allow me, if I don't hear back from you within two or three days, will you allow me to give you a call um, after that? Okay. I use that as a rule of thumb. It's been significant for my business. It's been significant for increasing the chances of people actually looking at the information. So very, very huge. Now, let's go. Now, again, I wrote down here, the distributors who makes the most money are truly the ones who schedules the most appointments. I mean, you know, you know, I forgot the leader uh, in the industry who said this, but he said, I can tell how successful of a year that you have in your business by two things, your, your bank account statements and your appointment book and it's really true if you're scheduling appointments you're you're affecting your time management in a positive way right and you're increasing the chances of staying committed to the agreement that was made between you and your uh prospect so let's talk about that follow-up appointment now again this is not about how to follow up okay again we got lots of trainings on that um but I want to cover one key aspect because this happens often. When they don't answer the phone on your scheduled appointment, and again, the number one reason why they don't pick up the phone is because you didn't schedule an appointment. You decided to call when you thought maybe they were open again. And some people 
because I didn't review the information, some people will not pick up because, oh, I didn't review the information. Ugh, I didn't keep my end of the bargain. So, and that happens, right? So, do you leave a message? I hear this all, well, I didn't, I called, they didn't pick up, and I didn't leave a message. No, you had an agreement. You schedule time out of your day or evening to, again, be uh, uh, fulfill the agreement that you guys both made. You have to leave a message, okay? I'm going to tell you what message you, you, you should leave, but it doesn't stop there. And this is something that I learned from Joe, Joe Garcia, okay, uh, even recently, and it's made an impact as well. You know, the way people respond and communicate today is totally different than even three years ago, all right? The reality is most people don't use the phone anymore. What's the most popular thing that people do now? Text. Whether it's a Facebook text, a Skype text, a WhatsApp app text, okay? That's what they do. Text message, they text. So I'm going to leave uh, not just a voice message. I'm going to text them and then I'm going to email them. Because most of these things will go right back to their phone, which is basically what people carry 24-7, okay? So, yes, you leave a message when you had an appointment scheduled, all right? And it can go something like this. And, again, it, it, it's, it's going to maybe change a little bit, whether it's somebody that you personally know, someone that was a referral, maybe it was a lead, uh, it may change a little bit, but the concept is the same. Hey, Joe, this is Andreas at 7 o'clock. Hey, we had an agreement to get on the phone here today uh, to discuss the information that you reviewed. I'm very excited about it. I hope everything is okay because um, I would assume you would have called back and give me a courtesy call uh, that you cannot uh, make it at 7 o'clock today. Hey, listen, I'm going to send you a text. I'm also going to email you as well too. Uh, and if I don't hear back from you, I'm calling you back tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the same time. Okay, what does this do? Number one, it holds your end of the bargain, which means you're serious about what you're doing. This isn't just kind of a fun side thing, unless that that's what it is for you. Hey, that's what it is for you, and that's okay. But I'm sure you're not on this training for it to be a hobby business. You're interested about creating a significant business, right? So it holds your end of the bargain. That's number one. Number two, it says that you're serious about it and that you are someone to be trusted because you keep your commitments. That is huge. That's the perception that goes. So that's what it means. And that means you, again, set some time and that you're really serious about talking. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a yes to them or it's a no to them. They're not interested, but you're going to follow through. So yes, you are going to leave a message and a voice message. And when you leave that message, you're going to tell them that you're going to also text them and also email them. And then the text is going to go like this. Hey, just left you a voice message. We had a scheduled appointment at 7 p.m. today. I hope everything is okay. Please give me a courtesy call. When you use the word courtesy, that's another psychological term, like the word allow, courtesy. Because if they don't, they don't want to be viewed as someone who's not courteous, okay? So please give me a courtesy call so we can reschedule um, today or tomorrow, later today or tomorrow. And then I'm going to send a similar email. Hey, I left you a message. I also sent you a text. I hope everything is okay. Uh, I called you at our scheduled appointment at 7 o'clock today. Uh, again, I'm very excited. I want to share some new things that just occurred. It could be something as, hey, you know, I just want to let you know our November sales just skyrocketed. It was the best November sales uh, that we've ever had in the history of NHT Global. Hey, I just want to let you know, we just added another quarter of a double-digit growth that went now to 15. Hey, listen, I just want to let you know, we were just recently ranked number two fastest growing publicly traded company in the world. So get them to increase the chances of them to, to respond back. Okay. So you do that on the mail, you do that, uh, you voicemail, you text them and you email them because again, you're holding your end of the bargain and you want them to do the same. Okay. Now, if you call back again and they don't pick up, here's how my second message goes. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be word for word. It's just the concept. Hey, Joe, this is Andreas. I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. I sent you a text. I sent you an email. I also left you a voice message. I hope everything is okay. I know you're a busy guy. 
Um, but uh, I just wanted to reschedule. I want you to give me a courtesy call, please. It doesn't matter if you were able to watch the information or not. I just want to know that you're okay. And I just want to know if this is something that we're going to, again, continue um, or not. It doesn't matter to me. Please give me a courtesy call. Okay? That is my second message. Now, my third message, I'm not going to really go over because everyone has a different philosophy. Okay? But my third message would be to the point where, hey, listen, you know, I really hope you're okay. You know, it's not really about this opportunity anymore. And this is sincere for me because when somebody calls you back and you know somebody and they just don't, something could happen. I can't, I can tell you stories of family members that um, passed away, a house that got burnt down, uh, somebody who was in the hospital that it happens. It's life. It happens. But so I don't want to really bother them, but I really, I, I'm really doing what they told me to do. And that was to give them a call three days ago on an agreement that we have. So my third message for me, this is just my philosophy, would go something like this. Again, this isn't scripted. I'm just thinking of calling somebody who, again, is my third and final message. It'll be something like this. Hey, Joe, this is Andreas. You know, listen, this is the third call I'm making. I hope everything is okay. You know, it's really not like you. Usually you call. And to me, it doesn't matter if this is something that you changed your mind or or you did. Because if it is something you changed your mind, hey, just give me a courtesy call. Let me know. And it's no big deal. I won't bother you about it again. If it is something that you are sincerely interested in, hey, let's just reschedule it. I know things happen. People are busy. Let's reschedule it. Okay. And I want to get you updated on some of the exciting things that just happened. And I didn't share with you on the last call that I want to share with you now. Please give me a courtesy call. Listen, if I don't hear back from you, I won't be calling you again, okay? I perhaps may call you maybe in a month or so because I want to know that you're doing okay. That is what I would do on my third call. That's me. Talk to the person that you're working with, your sponsor, your upline members, and find out what is their philosophy in their follow-ups to those that do not pick up the phone. Let's go to number five, okay? And that is tracking system. Man, I can't tell you how many people are serious about building their NHT Global business, and yet they don't have an organization system. They put stuff on sticky notes that they don't find. You're, you're talking about a business, a person, a lead, a connection that can change everything for you. And you don't remember what you put down on a sticky note because it's a sticky note. It's stuck to this paper or that, but you can't find it. Get serious about finding a tracking system. And having an appointment planner. These are the two things that I use. I didn't get a chance to actually take a picture of it, but it looks just like that, except for the black box. It's actually a dark gray. This is what I use. I'm old school. It works for me. I love it. It's simple, and I do it. I write down all the notes of the people that I connect with, right? And anything that's appointment oriented on a phone, on meeting somebody, whether it's a follow up appointment, a three way call, a scheduled something. It goes in here. It goes out of my head and into my planner, and I move on my day. I have to manage my global business this way. So, folks, if you do not have a tracking system and an appointment planner, and if you're serious about building your business, you're going to be out of business, and it ain't going to work for you, okay? You cannot possibly, possibly remember all the conversations, okay? Stop going on sticky notes and memory in building your five-figure monthly income or your six-figure monthly or whatever your income desire is with this business. If you are serious, you're going to get at least this and this. Or if you're online psyche, you can use Google Calendar, Google To-Do List. You can do um, Outlook. There's a lot of spreadsheets, Excel, how, how, however you want to track your business and your calls and your connections with people and your leads. You know, part of making things happen, folks, is you creating it, okay? You have to create based on your activity and your life. You have to create something. No one told me to use an index box holder. or that. It's just what I know I need to do in order for me to be on top of my business 24 7 because remember you're not just an nhg global business builder okay you're also a spouse okay you're also a parent you're also a community leader 
You know, you're also an employee if you still have a job and you're working a job. You all that stuff. You can't. You're also got to cook. You got to clean. You got to drop this off. You got to pay bills, right? So amongst all the hectic stuff that activities that we need to do on a daily basis, if you don't track your NHT Global business, especially if you're fitting it into part time with your full time schedule, you're gonna have a hard time building your business. I can't stress this enough. Now, if you don't have a tracking system, man, pause it right now and write down yourself on your notepad. Get tracking system now. Organize it now. Create it now. If you don't have a planner, if you use your iPhone or your Droid or to do your appointment making, then make sure that you're doing that consistently. It's part of you building your business and becoming a success and getting it out of your head on onto something that you do not have to think about that will keep you accountable and again keeping your appointments and your business tracked and if you don't track it you can't reflect on it right so i can't stress this enough i could do a training on this alone that's how important it is let's go to number six starting and succeeding guide you know Joe and I created this uh, uh, getting started training that I think is very valuable in helping people in your organization that just join you to find out where is are they in their mindset? What goals do they have? Because remember, what you want to do with your business doesn't necessarily reflect what others why others join NHT Global. And the whole purpose of us is to help people achieve the goals that they desire in their business as far as why they join. But it's so crucial for you to have completed the starting and succeeding guide, okay? You have to complete it. And I'm not talking about doing one out of the seven or eight pages. I'm talking about completing all of it and doing within your first 48 hours of when you enroll, when you've joined. If you've not done it completely, I encourage you to do that today, okay? I encourage you to put it on your notepad that that is another thing you're going to complete today in details. Now, if you completed it, you have to have reviewed it with your sponsor. If you've not done so, please schedule an appointment, right? Do you see how all this ties together? And schedule an appointment to review it with your sponsor. Perhaps your sponsor is not as active. Guess what? There's somebody in your upline partnership that will help you and review this with you. It's crucial that you do that, okay? But what's even more crucial is that not just reviewing it with your sponsor, that you actually start to apply. This is your plan of action of what you're going to do with your business to get to the goals that you said you wanted to achieve. Okay, but always refer to it. It's not an assignment that you do and you just put it. Oh, yeah, I did it. I completed it. No, this is something you want to reflect and refer to on a consistent basis. I do it right. Okay, and then you want to help your team members do exactly the same thing. Complete it, review it with them, apply it, refer and reflect it, okay? It's all done for you. This is a turnkey system. Everything is already completed for you. And remember, what you don't do with your sponsor, there's somebody in your team members that will do it with you, okay? So this is very, very important. If you haven't done it, do it. If you've done it, review it with your sponsor. If you've done it, go over it. Have you done the things that you put down to do? Remember, everything is all right here. It's all right here. It's all done in your starting and succeeding guide. Number seven, I get so many people that say, I did not know that we had a call or a webinar today. I did not know that there was a this or that or whatever. Now, I have an organizational email. I still use email, folks. I really do to communicate with people. You can do Facebook uh, group pages. You could do whatever. But here's very something very, very important. If you are not going to be on a call, you are not going to be at a live event, you are not going to participate in this or that, any information that gets passed on to you from your sponsor it is your obligation and your duty, really, to forward that over to your personal sponsored organization, okay? Just because you can't participate in a webinar doesn't mean that your team can't participate in a webinar. What is the whole purpose of the concept of network marketing? 
is leverage. Why would you not want your organization to know that this training was available today, even though you couldn't do it live? Why shouldn't you send people to a webinar, even though you are not going to be on that webinar? Isn't the whole concept of you developing an organization that grows with or without you to, re, to in, increase the residual income with or without you, right? But if you don't have people plugged in and always informed, you're going to have a hard time building a business. Now, for those of you that do not receive updated information from your organization, always go to somebody higher up in your upline in the structure that can add you or include you. If somebody is in my organization and one of my personally sponsored doesn't forward the information, right? I would add that person onto my group email so they can get it directly from me. But I don't want people to become dependent on the people above them to be sending everything to them because some emails only limit how many emails you can send it to, right? So it is really your responsibility to do that. And if everybody takes care of their own personally sponsored people, the information will get shared down into your organization and everybody stays plugged in. Be a promoter of information sharing. Be a promoter of that. There's incentives that are going on. There's people that do incentives in their organization. Why are you not forwarding over? Maybe you feel like it's not something that you want to participate in, but why would you not forward that information to your organization and let them participate or at least let them decide if they're going to participate or not? So crucial and again, uh, keeping your organization in tune with what is happening. Now, daily self-motivating ritual. Okay, gosh, if anything I'm going to share with you is important. Now, everything is important, right? And again, depends on where are people that are with their mindset and where they're at uh, with themselves. But this is something that I encourage you to create. Put that on your notepad as your notes. And you hear someone talk about this almost every single time in their training. And that's our founding master distributor, Joe Garcia. OK, so I'm not going to talk about this in details because he has done some phenomenal training. Uh, Patrick Tullock has done some phenomenal training. Dan Caddo's done some phenomenal training on this. Jamie Messina, Francis Maxwell. You've got lots of leaders that, again, Garth Wright, Dalbor Strop, Every There's lots of leaders that talk about, again, the mindset and how crucial it is to apply the things that I just shared with you. It's only as good as where you're at with your mindset. How do we keep ourselves motivated? How do we keep ourselves inspired to go after the things that we wanted to do as to why we joined this business in the first place, right? And it's something that, again, is important to do daily. You cannot do it for one day, skip for three days, and do it only when you really need to do it because things are not going well for you, and you're going to go back on the bad wagon of motivating yourself. You're going to have a hard time, hard time in building this business. It's a lifestyle, folks, to create whatever it is that it works for you. And sometimes you may have to change it. But I'll give you some simple concepts, okay? Number one, affirmations. Whether you write it out, right, uh, whatever affirmation you want to write out for yourself that you're going to say to yourself, uh, the more you do it throughout the day, the more you'll start using that law of attraction, law of manifestation to go your way. And I'm not talking about just your energy global business, but really all areas of your life. What are you affirming to yourself to have done for today? Okay. If anybody wants to hear and, and, and my affirmation that I say every single day that I have written down, that it's in my planner, it's with me in the car, it's with me in my office desk, feel free to reach out to me and I'll share with you my affirmations. It's a general affirmation right, that I do, that includes my NHC Global business and includes my personal life and other aspects of my life, I'd be more than happy to share that with you because a lot of people never, do, no one teaches this, right? So, you know, if you want to get an idea, I'd be more than happy to share that with you. The person who enrolled you, again, can reach out to me and, and I can share with you my, my affirmation. And it's something that I do in the morning, I do in the afternoon, more importantly, I do before I go to bed. Now, my day does not start in the morning. My day 
starts the night before. What I invest and embed in my mind before I go to sleep is how I start my next day. That is something that has worked for me. So that way I go to bed with more restful sleep. I go to bed with positive thoughts. I go to bed with already being thankful for my next day because I started it the night before. Being grateful. Being grateful, as you know, is a key to anybody becoming successful in any area of their lives. You know, we hear people, when do you become grateful? When do you give thanks? You know, you have uh, uh, Jack Canfield who talks about, you know, when you're brushing your teeth, you're already brushing your teeth, right? Well, what thoughts can you put in your mind while you're brushing your teeth? That's a great time to be thankful, right? I do that every time when I brush my teeth, I'm thankful. Every time I walk into the car and I put my seatbelt on, that is like an automatic thing of what am I grateful for? Before I go to bed, I say the things that I'm grateful for. I actually talk about my affirmations. Actually, my affirmation includes the things that I'm grateful for, okay? Uh, so what's your daily ritual? Do you even have one? Why not? You know, we have so much garbage that's being embedded in our head with our coworkers' attitude, with our coworkers' uh, morals, with the news that are what's happening in the world today, economically, religious-wise. It's unbelievable, right? So what positive things are you putting in your mind to keep you focused on the things that are important, not the things that are not going right in your life, but also in the world today? Visualizing. Wow. We've done trainings on this. We've done weekend seminars on this. We've done, there are books on this. And again, I'm not going to take time on this training to do this. But again, I can't stress the importance of visualizing the things that you want to achieve in your life and visualizing them as if you've already have it. And to go even deeper, that's going to help you attract the things that you want in order for you to to make that materialistically and actually happen is how does it make you feel having what you put down that you want to achieve three years from now, two years from now? What are your three top things you want to achieve in 2016 that it has to be a must? There's a hundred things, but what are the two, three things that you must have in 2016 with your NHG Global Business? Now, you got to visualize that as if you've already achieved it. You got to visualize it where as if you already have it right how does that make you feel see it's the feeling it's the feeling that gets you to attract the things it's the feeling that motivates you to go out there and apply the things that i just shared with you prior to number eight it's the feeling that again gets you to take action right so it's not just visualizing and thinking about it, it's believing it. Man, if you visualize it, you should have your hair stand up. It should make you emotional. You gotta smell it, you gotta see it, you gotta taste it, you gotta want it even more, right? That feeling should be the driving force to taking the action, right? And using the things that we've already created for you in order for to build your business. Now, this is a very emotional and very passionate topic of mine. So I'm gonna stop here because uh, I don't want to spend another hour just talking about that. But we got fantastic training on this. It's on steamteam.ca. It's amazing. So again, what are you doing on a daily basis? Do you spend five minutes a day after maybe making two or three contacts or um, you know, r right after you, you eat your meal? What, that you sit down and you visualize the what you have won. Do you have a dream board? You know, I have a dream board right here. I'm looking at it right now. I'm standing and doing this training for you, and I'm looking at my video. But I'm looking at my my board that I have here with my pictures for my my personal and my family. That's important to me. It's everything for me. It's what drives me to do what I do with my business, right? And then I have my dream board right now. I have all the goals, all the things that I want to have achieved. As a matter of fact, I just updated it because I achieved three or four things that's on my dream board already. Now I'm putting on some more things. I put down the things that I'm grateful for. I'm looking at Joe Garcia with me right on my dream board. I'm looking at Garth Wright, the event that we did here in Chicago. I'm looking at Dan Cattle. I'm looking at my soccer academy that's flourishing. It's exploding. I'm thankful for my for uh, uh, one of my coaches that uh, is helping me grow this uh, uh, soccer academy. I'm grateful for my kids, the trophies that we're winning, all, all this stuff. It's there. It's right there in front of me. So sometimes when you forget, right, the visuals 
puts you in that state of mind of, wow, what are you grateful for? When things don't go well for you in any area of your life, go back to the things that get you happy, that make you happy, that gets you excited, right? That takes you away from the things that are not happening, but the things that you want more of. This is why we teach this, okay? It's not just some, you know, uh, you know whatever, small. It, this is huge. This is, plays a big role with what you're going to be attracting in, into your life. Because remember, how you feel is what emanates into the world. And what emanates into the world is what brings back to you. So if you go out there and your energy is negative and your energy is uh, what's not happening, guess what? You're going to get more of that. Right. We've all experienced it every single time. And it's when you make those changes in your thoughts. It's when you focus on the things that you're grateful for. It's when you're focusing on the things that you want to achieve and visualizing it as if you already achieved it and holding on to that feeling. Now, now you're transforming your life. Now your NHC Global Vehicle is your ticket to freedom, residual income, time freedom, helping others do happiness, better health, right? Aren't the things, isn't that what we live for to do? Well, you have it all here for you. You just got to tap into it. Now, you see this little cell phone here that everybody carries every single day? The cell phone that we use that for the most part actually wastes time scrolling down news feeds while we're in a waiting room, scrolling down and just looking at things that don't serve us. How about you use this cell phone and and get a widget on it or an app, app on it and put an alarm clock, put three or four alarm clocks and set it every hour on the hour. Set it three times a day, right? And put down affirmation or being grateful for or put down the word visualization. And when that phone rings, because, oh, my gosh, when that phone rings or it vibrates, boom, we look at it because we want to know who contacted us, right? It's just the society we live in. It's It's an obsession. It's crazy, right? How about we use it to advance your mindset? How about we use it to advance in attracting the things that you want in your life? Okay? Do not just write this down and say, yeah, this is a great idea. Do it today. Do it right after this. Program your phone. Get an alarm on there. And when it rings, it, you hear the word visualization. Sit down and visualize. Take three minutes, four minutes, five, to even a minute. Just enough that it actually alarms you and you see the word visualization, it changes immediately, immediately. It changes the vibration of your mind, right? Put down things that you're grateful for. Maybe write it out. Maybe the five things that you're grateful for, your health, your family, right? That you have food on the table, uh, that you got people that love you, that want to see you succeed, right? Whatever it is, write it down. And when, when that alarm clock hits, boom, imagine if everybody including your organization, imagine this, if you and everybody in your organization did this, right? Imagine your neighborhood doing this. Imagine a community doing this. Can you see the positive impact or the change? But it starts with you. Program your phone, get the alarms going throughout the day to feed your mind the right things. And it's not just for your NHC Global Business, it's for you to develop you to be the best you you can be that day, that week, that month, that year, right? And the, the, the more you work on yourself, the more you're going to affect other people, your family members, your community, your neighbors, your coworkers, your teammates, your organization, even your upline leaders, okay? Very, very important. What's your ritual? You don't have one? Create it. Create it. It's very important that you do that, especially if you want to become successful in building your business. We got two more here, folks. Here's number nine. What's your daily and weekly plan of action? Do you have a plan of action in building your business or do you just wake up and you're going to figure it out when you wake up? Or when I have some time, then I'll figure it out. And then when you have some time, you're figuring out takes the minimal time that you do have, and guess what? You don't do anything in building your business. It's daily habits, daily habits that done consistently that's going to allow you to build your business and become successful, okay? So again, there's a lot of type of daily plan of actions. This is something that, again, if this is a new concept for you, again, work with the person that sponsored you. 
work with your upline partners. They'll create something for you. But ultimately, it has to do something that you know you're going to do, that you're going to do it consistently, that moves you closer to the goals that you've set, that you've done in your starting and succeeding guide, right? How many new calls a day or whatever your schedule is? Maybe you're working this three times a week. Maybe you're working it two times a week, right? How many new calls, right? New calls a day are you committed to making based on your goals, right? Do you have uh, any type of new call goals, right? I, I'm more of an appointment person, so I have daily appointments that I make, right? I may have to make 10 calls to hit my appointments. I may have to make three calls to hit my appointments, it, but it's my goal. I have a plan of action that I do every day. So this is my goal. How many daily appointments are you committed to scheduling based on your goals, right? Do you even have that? Maybe it's calls, maybe it's appointment, maybe it's both. Again, it's something you have to create and put into action on a daily basis, right? Whoop, let's go back here. Uh, okay, here's the next one. How many product sales are you committed to per day, per week? I know people that say, I'm going to sell one facial kit every day. That's my goal. Or I want to sell five kits every week. That's my goal. You may have to make 10 calls. You may have to make three appointments. Okay. How many free demonstrations can I schedule today? Not that they're going to do it today, but schedule for free demonstration, maybe for tomorrow, this week or whatever. That is a great goal. But you, sh if you're going to do it, do it and do it consistently, right? So then we can track what's working or not working so we can perfect it and then help you achieve those goals. How many product sales are you committed to? How many free demos are you going to be doing on a weekly basis, right? So again, these are just a few. I'm just giving you some concepts here, right? How many new distributors and partners are you committed to sponsoring per week? Is it two a week? Is it one a week? I know everybody would love to sponsor two a week or even one a week, right? But is that even a goal? Is that a goal? Is that a committed goal? See, it's one thing to write down a goal. It's another to be committed to it and take the necessary action steps for you to achieve it. So it's not just saying it and putting it. What are you committed to doing, right? So how many distributors are you committed to per week? I know people that are committed to sponsoring a person a day, right? It's not realistic for many people because of where they are with their mindset, but is it doable? Absolutely, it's doable if you're committed to it, right? Anything you're committed to doing that you really want to do and you know it serves a purpose of where you want to go, anybody can do it. There's no limitations. The only limitations are limitations we put on ourselves, right, based on the mindsets that we have. So, again, just a couple of things for you uh, to um, uh, to. to to put into action whatever it is on a daily basis, if you're serious about succeeding, you're going to create it, right? If people have not created, see a lot of people say, well, can you do this for me or can, can, you, can you create it for me? See, part of the success in anything in life is the creating process, right? Because in the creating process, it has to get you to think. It has to get you to fit with your philosophy. It has to get you to do that. And if you are not a creator, then you don't spend time visualizing and focusing on what is it that you really want to achieve with this business. And it always goes back to that. Okay. So if you're not creating something, now people can tell you what works for them. Now, I showed, shared with you today on this training some of the things that work for me. That doesn't mean it's going to work for you, right? But I'm giving you concepts that you can take, right? And maybe modify it to fit with your schedule, to fit with your mindset, but to fit with your goals, your philosophy that will allow you to do the things that you need to do in order for you to succeed with your energy global business, right? So if you're serious and if you're listening and watching this, you're serious, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be wasting your time. And number 10. Okay, we're going to finalize it with this. Again, I just wrote down 10. There could probably be 100, right? But a couple of things that, again, that can, that can get you to start thinking, creating, and applying, right? So do I ask? Do I call? Do I get engaged? Especially when things are not going well. And usually when things are not going well, it's because 
you're not taking any action. If you're not taking any action, it's based on your belief system. And your belief system is basically what's giving you to live the lifestyle you're currently living right now. Okay. So do I ask? Do I call? Right? Am I serious? Am I committed? Or do I hibernate? And this is something that I see so often. I see people when, and it's usually because they don't apply even the starting and success guideline. Everything starts from the, I could tell you in two or three weeks, if somebody uh, is going to stay around or is somebody going to do the things based on their starting and succeeding guide, right? I know how to start somebody off based on the starting and succeeding guide. Some of them, I'll move very quickly with them. Some of them, I'll focus on, again, developing themselves personally, OK, so it all depends on what it is that I see. But a lot of people miss a lot of steps on that. But yet they want to create the success. They want to grow. They want to do this. They want to make money. But yet they're not even following some of the things that are necessary to build the foundation with first. You can't build a house on a quicksand, right? You can have the best material and the most expensive material to build your house. But if your foundation can't support it. You don't have a house, right? So it doesn't matter what techniques and closings and, and webinars and presentations if you don't have the fundamentals. So look at yourself. Do you hibernate? Do you hide away from your sponsor? Do you not ask for help? Are you one of those that, remember, when you hibernate, nothing changes, right? You don't learn. If you want to learn, you got to be with your sponsor. You got to stay engaged if you truly want it, right? We have people that hibernate and all of a sudden the spring comes and wow, woo, I want to get back in action again. And all of a sudden 4th of July comes, Independence Day here in North America comes or whatever holiday comes and now I'm going to go hibernate, right? Well, that's okay. It's your business. You could do what you want, but how serious are you in getting to what you want to get? I wrote a post recently after having a conversation with Joe Garcia. Gosh, it's so true. You know, professionals continue to build momentum 24-7, 365 days a week. It's not that they personally are doing it themselves, but they create ways and systems. You heard the word create again, right? In order for them to keep their momentums, amateurs will stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Well, if you want residual income consistently coming in, you can't do it with inconsistent effort and inconsistent actions, right? So again, you know, are you asking? Are you calling? Are you connecting? Or are you hibernating? Well, if you're hibernating, there's nothing that can change. We can't help you, right? Don't be a hibernator, all right? So let's review everything we talked about today. Number one, are you a consistent product user? If you're not, become consistent. Find one or two products that that is going to fit for what it is that you're looking for to improve in your health or to prevent and use it. Use it on a daily basis. Okay. Am I on the auto ship system or the auto bank system? If you're not, get on it. Get your people and your organization on it. Do I schedule appointments when I talk to people that are interested? Make that a habit. Do it. Every single one of them. Do I leave messages on my follow-up calls? I just gave you some examples. Yes, you do. And it extends to an email and also a text message. Do I track my business and have an appointment planner? Whatever tracking, online tracking, right? Spreadsheet, index card holder, accordion file holder, they all work. Find a system where you track your business that you can always review, right? And track your organization and your call. Did I complete the starting and succeeding guide? And did I review it with my sponsor? Some of you guys don't even remember what you put down on your goals. Why? Because at the time, it sounded great and that's what you have. And if you don't even remember what's on your starting and succeeding guide that you did two weeks ago, three months ago, or a year ago, guess what? You don't really have a crystal clear vision of where you want to go. And if you don't have a crystal clear vision of where you want to go, you ain't going there. It ain't going to happen, right? So review it again, complete it again, review it with your sponsor, reflect on it often. Did I inform my organization by forwarding emails and promoting upline messages, whether I agree with them or going to participate in them or not? Do I still forward that to them? Do I promote them? You should 100% of the time. Do I have a daily self-motivating ritual system? that will empower me and inspire me in putting positive things in my mind, in my head, to become great, to become better, to attract, to manifest, to get me into action, right? What rituals do I, do I have one? If I don't, get one. It may change until you perfect what's working for you, right? 
But the art of always trying to make it work for you is going to help you in creating one that will work for you. Do I have a daily plan of action to build my initial global business? What do you do, right? You know you have your follow-up appointments on your plan, but what do you do to build your business on a daily basis? Do you have a set amount of appointments that you're going to do daily or three times a week or two times a week, whatever it is for you, right? Do you have a certain amount of demonstrations you want to have done? the week? Whatever it is, right? What is it? You don't have one? Create one and follow it. And last, do I ask for guidance, assistance, support? Do I feel like I'm bothering? If you feel like you're bothering your enroller, that's the biggest mistake that you can make. Now, if you're calling your sponsor and you're talking about things that have nothing to do with you building your business, then you're wasting both times, right? Because your sponsor will spend 24-7 with you if you're serious about doing it, taking action, right? Somebody calls me and wants to know if this is a great idea in building their business. Oh, my God, I'm gonna, I'd, I'd love to have 20 of those calls a day. Absolutely. Share my experience. Share my knowledge. Share my suggestion. Right. Let's not talk about the things that are not happening when you're talking with your enroller. Let's talk about the things that can happen so you can move your business forward. Don't hibernate. OK. So let's make 2016 your best year ever. I'm sure everybody listening right now. Right. And this can be 2017 when somebody listens to it next December because the information and the fundamentals don't change. It's the same. Let's make 2016 your best year ever, folks. Listen, you got proven, incredible, cellular penetration products in the industry of health and wellness. You have the products. For those of you that say, well, I just, if the products are great, man. I can make it happen. Guess what? For you guys, you have them. Okay? pay structure. You have the most fair and profitable pay structure in the industry of network marketing. Our track record prove it. And you know why? There is no hurdles. And all these uh, have to have a certain amount of people, have a certain amount of people, blah, blah, blah. I have to do it by the end of the month. You don't have that here. So guess what? For those of you that, you know, well, I got to see the, the pay structure. I got to look at the compensation plan. Guess what? You have it. Company's track record says a lot about future predictions, okay? Well, I want to know more about the company. Guess what? We have it. There's no story in the industry of network marketing, I believe, probably even longer than I've been in the industry, okay, that has the accolades that NHD Global has today, right now, for you to use in your marketing efforts. It's unbelievable. Guess what? You have it. Powerhouse leadership. Man, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Do you know nobody has a Dan Cato and a Joel Garcia? You know, and nobody has you. When somebody says, well, what makes your company and makes your business so special? Number one thing that comes out of my head is me. You have me. You don't have me in this company and you don't have me in that company. More importantly, you have the support when I think one of the most highly respected multi-millionaires in the field of not just network marketing, but in business generally. You have it. The support, it's here. Global infrastructure, locally, nationally, internationally, online, offline, it is here. All the training you need to develop yourself personally, all the training you need to develop yourself professionally and financially, it's here. Now, when we take a look at the people at NHC Global that are building their organization, yes, they have their daily ritual. Yes, they make their appointments. Yes, they're crystal clear uh, with what they want in their business. Yes, they use their upline uh, support structure. Yes, they schedule appointments or product users. They follow up. They leave messages. They, all the stuff that I shared with you today, right? But the ones that are actually growing really, really quickly are focused on the recognition plan. They are focused on getting to the next rank, right? They're focused on getting from this title to that title. And when you look at that, you know how much volume you need to have on both your organization. That gives you kind of the plan of action that you will need in order for you to achieve it, right? So do you even know our recognition plan? If you don't, get familiar with it. Okay, do you want to earn those trips automatically every senior year? 
Okay. Do you want to earn pins and jackets and watches and, and get paid to go out there and do trainings around the world? Get to our recognition ranks, right? Know it, promote it, go out there and say, Hey, listen, you're close to getting to this rank. Why don't we work for it this month? Right? Why don't we work for it? Let's put a plan of action together and let's make it happen. We'll go over the daily action steps that you need to do in order for you to make it happen. Become familiar with the most best rewarding recognition program in the network marketing industry. So folks, I hope this trading gave you some nuggets that you can apply. I hope you guys took down a lot of notes. Obviously, this is recorded. You can stop. You can rewind. You can listen to it again. You can refer back to it. But there are about 10, again, odds and ends that I covered today. I could have picked another 10. But these are the things that I've noticed over, again, I take a period of a, of a chunk of a year, and I go over what are the things that I know people can do better or do more of, right? And that's what I decided to share with today. So this is recorded and available on steamteam.ca where all of our leadership training recordings um, are, are there. It's also available on my team site, which all of my personal trainings that I have done, uh, if you like the information and the delivery that I use to share some information, you're welcome to, to, uh, to watch my, my webinars. Are For the most part, they're on steamteam.ca. So uh, I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about the potential. I'm excited about your opportunity to get to where you want to get, especially as we're going to the new year. And it's not because of the new year. And make no mistake, those of you that are looking to change your life at the beginning of the year, it ain't going to happen. I'm just going to be blunt and I'm going to be honest with you. Every day, the day you make the decision, right, you don't want to wait till a specific date for you to better all areas of your life. You make the decision now, today, right now, right? And then you start applying and you work with people that want to see you succeed. You have them all around you here at NHT Global. I'm very excited about what can happen for you and your future with our business model here. It's been a blessing for me uh, personally, professionally, financially. And uh, again, all the information you need is here at your fingertips with NHT Global. Thank you for joining us here on our training session. Uh, I, I hope you plug into all the trainings that we have from all the leaders here in NHT Global and make this a goal. Make it a goal where one day you are asked to train on a subject because of your experience and because of your success. Why not make that your goal so you can infect and empower more people around the world with your vision, your experience, and your success? Thank you all. Love you all for joining us here today. And let's make 2016 the biggest and best year so far in your NHG Global business. Because guess what? You can. Thanks for joining everybody. Andres Papacosta signing up from the Chicagoland area. Bye-bye, everyone.